Hey folks, dude here. Well, we are staring upon that loveliness, that Italian amazing gift to food and culinary arts known as prosciutto. Prosciutto is basically just a, uh, well, you take a piece of pig, you, uh, you salt it, you brine it, you hang it up and you let it get nasty, gamey, icky, nasty, ucky, nasty. Did I mention it looks horrible on the outside? Well, you basically, you air dry it, you do not smoke it, and what you get in the end result is prosciutto. N notice the prominent fat ring. That's some good stuff. This would be basically one of the cheaper varieties, and I'm going to basically make me today a kicked up Cuban sandwich. So um, that basically means it's going to be a press sandwich, and it's going to be very much like uh, a grilled cheese sandwich on steroids. Ooh, good times. All right, so basically what do we got first off? We have to have a Pepsi, obviously. We have to have a throwback. For obvious reasons, we need to have a throwback for, well, medicinal purposes only. Just give me one second here. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, so obviously we got our prosciutto. And um, let me just scooch over a little bit here and you guys can see what I'm up to. Okay, obviously we got some bread. Obviously we have some American cheese. Have some pickles that are going to be pressed in part of it. What I'm using today is from Trader Joe's and there's something called Conochons. Conochons. And basically, they're a pickle, and um, instead of using dill, they use tarragon. So I'm going to get this sucker together and go from there. Good times. All right, I guess we need to do some assembly, so let's go on from there. First off, fire. Fire's good. We need fire. Okay, now it's time to put this booger together, so um, let's move on from there. All right, so basically, have our bread. Obviously, the bread's going to get toasted. First off... Need to have some, uh, well, you need to have some inducements upon your bread. So, not a huge amount, but definitely want to have some contrast there. So, not a huge amount, but juicy. Ugh. Hate when it does that. Ain't gonna hurt nothing, but it's damn messy when it does. Okay, so a bit of mustardo. Not a lot, but just, just a bit for some accent. So, throw some mustard on there. Not a lot, just something on there to give some contrast. Okay, now, I could do the pickles and I could do the cheese, but since this is supposed to be a grilled cheese, the cheese should always be on the outside. Okay, so, slice here. Slice there. Cornichons, cornichons, cornichons. And pretty much, we're going to basically just be bracketing our cornichons. All right, now what's this guy going to do? Well, first off, it's got to go in the pan, so let's get on with that. All right, never let it be said that I've created a cooking vehicle or a cooking video without actually cooking for a vehicle for our... I'm cooking, okay? Don't get picky. All right, basically got our butter. You don't want the pan to be too hot or you're going to burn your butter. Don't burn your butter. Okay, basically, nice good quantity of the butter. Good quantity of the butter. Okay. Pan is now thusly buttered. Alright, first slice of the breadage goes into said butter. Stay. Second slice of this goes into the butter. And already, you can definitely smell that wonderful yumminess known as grilled cheese because the bread's starting to caramelize. Good times. Now, I'm going to let this go for about a minute or so and let the cheese start to melt, let it start to brown up on the outside, shift positions a few times, and um, we're going to do assembly. We'll go on from there, but the section is done. All right, obviously, I got my pan just a little bit too hot because I had to deal with cat interactions, translation. They're dicking with each other, and I had to break up a couple cat fights. Damn it. All right, but our cheese is starting to melt, and uh, it is time to apply said prosciutto. Now, prosciutto has been applied. Now it is time to flip over, most carefully, the one slice onto the other slice. And this is either good or very, very bad at most times. And that's... Pretty much about the size of that one. It's kind of bordering on almost too much. But I, I like my toes kind of dark, so we'll just go with that and hope for the best. All right, now, basically, quick press. Quick press, because I don't have an actual press. I'm cheating like a... Well, I'm cheating like crazy. <laughs> okay, so basically got that on there. 
cut our heat way down. My pan is still really, really hot. So we're not going to go for real long, but it's going to get a quick press. All right, that's basically about nine tenths done. Even though my stuff is, well, my biscuits are burning. It's a little dark than I, more than I really would like, but you know what? It'll work. I'm not going to cry. All right, so that bacon eater is done. Now let's go with the plate type apparatus. And I cook for real here, okay? You know, when I screw up, I screw up. Or if I overdo something, I'm going to let you guys know. But um, let's just plate this booger up and see what we get. Because we're really cooking here. We don't have 50 people in the back room, you know, helping me make my cooking show look like something that it really is not based in reality. Uh, we're really cooking. All right, so basically, got that there. Got that there. That goes off. Don't try to cut a piece of grilled cheese with anything but a pizza slicer. Believe me, it's just going to make your life suck. Especially when you're talking prosciutto. And you never want to overcook prosciutto. Ever. Did I mention ever? Don't ever cook it. Too much. It's just going to suffer. Alright, um... Well, there's only one thing left to say here, and that's uh, thank you Lord for the food. And may use this further to serve you and uh, get a sucker test drive. Just give me one second here. Oh, this thing's hot. <laughs> oh. That's good. Mm. Mm. Bread's a little bit overdone, but um, I, I got to commend it to you, man. If you guys get a chance to slot it over Trader Joe's or someplace else, you want to look for Konoshans, which is basically C-O-R-N-I-C-H-O-N-S. Konoshans. And it's basically just a tarragon pickle, and it's very French, especially for these guys from uh, Trader Joe's. They are from France, so they're the real deal, and they're good. Basically, gherkin-sized pickles with uh, tarragon yummies, and uh, let's give me one second here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's flipping good, man. You gotta make some of that. Good times. Alright, here's the fucking show. I'm gonna break this thing up and um, try to do some video editing and uh, make it look somewhat decent. Mm. Not so bad. <laughs> hey, it contains butter and bread. How bad can that be? <laughs> good times. Mm. Let's give it one second here. Mm-hmm. Alright, so as usual here on the Ace Podcast, so I'm going to tell you, eat good, and can I really go wrong with uh, grilled cheese with prosciutto? I don't think so. Keep in a ton ring and do some shooting. Good times. Alright, so uh, as usual here on the Ace Podcast, so I'm going to tell you, as usual, oh, eat good.